Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play Pokemon Puzzle Challenge! I'm your host today, Silent Senior Zero Nine! Last time we were here, we cleared through S Hard, also known as Super Hard. Today, we're gonna take on the impossible, the unstoppable, the most likely going to beat the heck out of me, <laughs> Bathway, and of course, cause me to burp. Intense! Or how did I say it? I said. INTENSE! Yeah, something like that. It was real raspy. So, if you are ready to do this, and you are ready to take this on alongside me, let's do it! Here we go! Hi there! You've already come this far? Well, since Super Hard wasn't enough, try the INTENSE path! It's incredibly difficult, so you can continue as many times as you like, and it won't affect the ending. Yeah, somebody commented, uh, something that was interesting to me. I guess apparently if you lose and you have to use a continue, it may affect the ending. Erko, you can't actually unlock, like, or learn how to unlock the other pathways. I guess I should go ahead and mention this. If you already know the button combinations required to unlock certain things in this game, you can already do that. But yeah, that, that, was, that was kind of an interesting learner's moment for me. I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't realize if this kind of comes across as a humble brag, but I figured I'd mention I haven't lost, or I haven't won a pathway without, or with using a continue, so I didn't know that that was a thing. And also, for the longest time, I didn't know that you lose Pokemon if you lose a match, but anyway. Enough of me humble bragging here. If my ego got any bigger, we'd need to open the door, because there's enough room in for, here for y'all and my big old head. And even if you lose, you can still use any Pokemon you like. So, just try to clear it. Oh! But you don't need any more advice, do you? Okay, good luck! Just boop! Alright, we got an entire team of non Pokemon Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Meryl, Pikachu, Togepi, Sentret, Blossom, and Pichu. Hope you're all ready, because this is gonna be tough. I've been waiting for you. I'll show you my might! No need to! I already know. Yeah, by the way, I did a little practice just to kind of gain some insight, because I'm like, how bad could it really be? Woo! Seriously! It is ridiculously hard. Like, every match, I'm not even kidding you, is probably going to last a minimum of either two minutes to four minutes to even as long as eight minutes. The, these opponents are freaking nuts. If you're not prepared to deal with seven chain up to... Freaking 12 chain blocks of garbage, along with a bunch of other fart bricks. You're probably gonna be in trouble and you're gonna be struggling the entire way. But yeah, every opponent from here on out is gonna be able to do that in a really just disgusting manner. It's just, it's not even worth sitting here diving into it. It's just, y you all will see it. But I figure a fair warning this is going to be very, very challenging. I mean, it should be, but I just... It's hard to measure a magnitude of power level based on... Oh, it's hard. Oh, they're strong. No. How strong? How powerful? Uh, let me tell you, um... Let's say hard is like... Oh, well, highest is like 4chan. Not to be confused with 4chan, mind you. <laughs> and S hard is... Well, eh, you can get as high as maybe... A five chain at worst. In intense, it's seven chain and up. It's like the minimum requirement. Of course, that time he didn't do it, so now I make it's making me look like a liar, kind of. But they are all very capable of doing that. Not to say that oh well, that makes it much worse for wear. It doesn't per se, but man, it sure makes you think. Oh, I can't mess around here. This is actually going to be tough. Okay, well, let's just. Bring that down a little bit. Um, yes, okay, we're good. I was just thinking, like, oh, man. That's another thing you're gonna need to worry about. Are you gonna have a match below in order to get rid of the garbage above? You want... I repeat! You want to make sure you do that roughly at just about any time, no matter where... No matter how much, like, garbage you have left, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. We'll, um... We'll be able to clear that out, no problems. Yeah, well... Don't get too arrogant, don't get cocky and think, oh, no, 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 I don't need to worry about that. No, no. 
at all times. If you can help it, make sure you are prepared to match the next layer of garbage that is being dealt your way. Look at that. We, I mean, we're gradually chiseling away at Pidgey's HP, but he's already working on his 8-chain block over there. Yeah. Prepare for about, oh, 13 matches of that. Actually, I should probably be a little more honest. It's more like, um, 8 matches of that from the gym leaders. The Elite Four is just 10 times worse, and then the champion is like 20 times worse. So yeah, it, it's gonna be a long... Very long journey, so pack some lunch. You're gonna be here a while. It's an all-day job and almost an all-day two, almost all two-day job. Excuse me, I meant to say. Anyway, one of these days I'll find my words. All right, I would make a notion to change the topic and give myself something else to talk about, but I'm trying to focus here. So while we have a moment to kind of cool down, um, the reason this has been delayed for so long is because every time I've sat down to try and re redo this, record this, or just go through this. I've had a lot of issues with the commentary. Straight up, it's always been, I mean, I get myself stumped and stuck at awkward moments where I'm like, uh, 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 you know, and I stutter all over the place. And y'all know when I get flustered enough, if I do that enough, then I get really just irritated with myself and I just like, you know what, screw it, I'm done. And I just, I end up basically trashing the whole uh, recording file and be like, I gotta try again some other day. Even if I'm winning, or losing, I've come to points where I'm like, I'm just gonna scrap this. This is garbage, man. This is GARBAGE! But thankfully, so far, it seems to be going well. Alright, Pichu, thank you so much. First win down, and only 12 more of those to go. Wait for it. Miss Bob! Dang! I lost. Well, I mustn't give in to my faults. Miss Bob again! Yeah, yeah. Do 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 yeah. I love that little strand of hair that just hangs out to the left side. Or rather, his right side, but to us it's the left side because of perspective. I've been studying, so I won't lose! Well, shall we begin? Well, if I must, Cyndaquil? Send to Cyndaquil, yay! Let's take to the stage, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's what's up with Paper Mario's, I'm kind of taking a break. Admittedly, I will be also waiting for somebody to finish something for me, but my main reason, honestly, is just I need a break from Paper Mario, because we've gotten, like, 60... No, we've gotten 70 parts. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're at, like, part 70-something right now. Or am I wrong? DUDE! Poor Sid the Quill! I made him cry! No! Well, there goes my low... No lost run. Alright, round two. Let's do it. I think this happened last time. Or not last time, but this happened in uh, Super... Or in, uh, yeah, Super Hard Mode of Pokemon Puzzle League. I lost to the second opponent on camera. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that is a thing, but apparently it's going to be a thing. Also, can you stop building a big block? You're going to give me a major headache, man. Man, bug, I should say. Excuse me. i use my proper creature terminology or biology. Yeah, let's bring that over here. I know I'm not doing like a heavy amount of attacking, but that's mostly because I'm trying to get in the groove of counter-attacking mostly. I mean, it's not to say that I lack the ability to form big chains like I'm used to doing, but I find that if I get too caught up in that moment, I wind up losing, because this game punishes much more severely if you let yourself get too wrapped up in how big of a chain you can make. Because it's not like we can watch and see the amount of garbage our opponent has, and then be like, oh yeah, come on, we can do it! We can make them lose faster, come on, we can, it's a waiting game, we can win it! And it's like, mm, no, no, we, we don't have that luxury. It's If the HP guard goes down, it goes down. Otherwise, if it doesn't go all the way down to zero, and you're stuck at the bottom with nothing to do? Tough luck. Sorry. Man! Ugh, I hate these awkward moments where it's like... very oddly shaped fart blocks that just stack up really unusual-like. Like it's a leaning... an unstable cake or something, you know? I was about to say Leaning Tower of Pisa, but... that has much more stability than some of the garbage layouts that this game provides, I'm telling you. 
at least when it comes to when they drop the full four, four combo fart bricks, those make sense to me, because then it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, they won't just stack them one on top of another gradually and make the stack rise as high as it can go. They'll actually give you a nice, clean, even flat line across that just looks like one of the chain one or chain two bricks of garbage cut down the middle nice and evenly like a slice of toast. Just perfectly cut down the line in the middle with a butter knife. I'd say speaking of which, but honestly I didn't have any toast today. But if you must know, for breakfast today I actually had me... I had some cereal and then I was like, I'm kind of in the mood for something hot. Have any of you ever had that? You go to get something for a meal, you have something cold, then you're like, I want something hot now. So then you go and do that as well. It's been a while, or it's not very often that that happens, but yeah. That happened to me today, actually. The day that this is being done. Not that it matters. And in case you're curious, that's the 22nd of March, so if you're, like, worried that this is way back in February, no. Fret not anymore. We're in March. Amazing! I lost to your passion for training. You beat me once, dude. Quit trying to praise me up and butter me up. Gosh, you gotta be such a nice guy, don't you? You think that makes me feel good, you jerk? Sorry, just pulling a line from Chopper. Alright, here we go, Whitney! Yay! Hey there, you're late. I didn't realize I had an appointment. No grumbling! <laughs> Let's battle! <laughs> oh, yep. I'd say it's time to battle. Let's, uh, break out our metronome specialty known as Togepi. Although, to be truthful, I've never really had a whole lot of luck with the move itself, metronome. It is a unique move, and anybody who relies on that as a strategy... Uh, well, props to you. I know that there's an opponent in Pokémon Stadium that pretty much their entire move, or their whole gimmick, because every trainer in that game has, like, a gimmick that you have to outwit, if you will. Same thing in Pokémon Stadium 2. And I think it's Juggler, actually, is his name. Or the trainer's name, rather. I know that's really very creative, because, you know, it's like, at least... In the handheld games, it's like, oh, Joey wants to fight. Beep -a -beep -a. Liz wants to fight. You know, the one that always calls you for the goofiest things if you get her number in the Golden Crystal days. But yeah, in the stadium game, I remember there was this trainer, and I think it was a juggler, actually. They would always use metronome, and I always, for the longest time, thought that was just such a weak strategy, because I'd always be extremely lucky. And then there was one time! One time, and it had been... Do happened to be on the Master Cup uh, version, which everybody knows in the Stadium 1 and 2 games, Master Cup is always the hardest. It seems like the most almost impossible to beat unless you have your own team kind of uh, rounds to beat. And I was just incredibly unlucky. I got freaking blasted with fire blasts, hyper beams, ice beams, everything. I'm like, are you kidding me? I didn't know that move could do that. I thought that was just a random move that picks stupid things like wrap and bind and whatnot, you know? But, huh, I got proved pretty wrong. I also got proved wrong much later in the fourth generation. Well, technically, it was a second generation based game, but it was in heart gold when I was playing it. I used Metronome once and I ended up you know, using Togepi, and it freaking used Sacred Fire, and I was like, what? That's crazy. Uh, why? Why? Don't be so hard on me. I'm just a kid, after all. Yeah, notice how I avoided saying any pervy jokes that time. That caught me off guard last time. I was like, well, don't I just seem like the biggest creep of the nature? Actually, I probably seem like a really creepy person with all the sex jokes I make sometimes, I'm telling you. And my obsession with the butt and the boobs, apparently. Because I always talk about the butt. Or make butt jokes. Welcome. The time has come to test fruits of my training. And my butt. Yeah, see, right there. Prime example. Well, I reckon we'll go ahead and pit him, or pit his Pokemon against... I'll oh, bring Meryl to the stand. Let Meryl have some fun. Ooh, that's creepy. I just realized on the right side, they actually have three yellow eyes to kind of help, you know, it looks like kind of out of a cartoon how they draw creepy forced scenes, or creepy scenes in general, that are in cartoons, 
or an anime sometimes. Which... I don't mean to open up a can of worms, but I realize anime technically is a cartoon because in uh, Japan and whatnot, that's just what they call cartoons. They just call it anime, so it's the same idea. But I also understand the culture that people say, anime is any cartoon that was developed in Japan. We don't say it's a cartoon, though, necessarily. And it's like, well, I can understand why, because their word of cartoon was anime. But at the same time, I'm like, technically, anime is cartoon. It's a form of cartoon. Or it's a different type of style of cartoon, you know, that makes... I don't know, it just feels like there's more in-depth thought put into the characters, the plot and everything, I guess. But maybe I'm overreaching on that as well. I'm just trying to be aware and sensitive, if you will, to the idea of people who consider there to be a distinct difference, you know, even if there really isn't that big a difference. I don't know, maybe I'm not making any sense. Maybe I'm just talking about Booty Hole, and you all have already tuned me out by now, which, hey, that's cool. It's all good, I understand. I usually don't make a lot of sense when I'm talking in a very Zen mode kind of commentary style, because I'm sitting here trying to keep my opponent from completely demolishing me with all their disgusting chains and combos. Also, I think I talked way too much there. My throat is dry! Oh my gosh! Ah, tea is so good. It's still not enough, but I liked a good match. Yeah! Fist bump to that, man. 